was just sitting on the toilet and I was watching an Instagram thing with this girl playing bass in Paris and she was playing this little riff and it got me super inspired to play this thing and I got this song going in my head and I'm gonna here, here here's the bass line anyway I just I just came up with it and we're gonna have a little not a whole song maybe but at least have the chorus done for you by the end of this video yeah <laughs> Oh, ha. top of the morning, friends and family. We got a fun video for today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically vlog today. I haven't vlogged in a while, like really vlogged. I mean, this is a vlog channel, but I feel like I hardly vlog anymore. I just make videos with snakes and stuff. And but we do have a general plan, at least for the video. Uh, I'm gonna do an update on the big snakes. We haven't seen them in a bit here on the channel, at least, and so I figured I'd do that. Ooh, it's getting bright and sunny up here. It is a beautiful day out today, let me tell you what. So yeah, we're definitely gonna see some big snakes. I also wanted to, uh, you know, we've shared quite a number of, of verses here on the channel in the last uh, several months, but I've never really talked about the gospel and what it means to me, so I thought I would do that as well for you guys. So, uh, and then there's that bass line I just came up with. That should be fun. Hopefully you enjoy your stay here. Actually, before we get too deep into it, there were some folks that had requested videos. I remember in this week's video, I said that I would do basically anything for this weekend's video. If you let me a comment down below, somebody wanted me to get two monitors, two monitor lizards. And you know, I'm actually thinking about that. No one says I should do more blood python videos. We'll definitely do that too, just not this weekend. TNJ Reptiles wanted to know if I'd ever had to deal with mites. I actually did do a good video on mites a while back. I'll put a link right here. It was on my other channel, Triple B TV. I'll put that there. Ooh, retics are my favorite to see. So Heartland Reptiles, we got you covered. Uh, Trent Bikes and Pythons wanted to see how long do the snakes lock for. Maybe a good video to do is the ins and outs and the process and time involved for a clutch to happen, etc. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do that this season. Obviously not happening this weekend, but I'll do that this season. And some, some I may have replied to, and that's why they're not showing up anymore. But anyway, thanks, guys. Toothbrush to scrub that stuff in there. You want to give us a little update on on baby mommies and how baby mommy life is going? <laughs> Got my sexy jeans on. <laughs> um, yeah, baby's good. Had our first and probably only ultrasound yesterday, and he looks good. Definitely a boy. Yeah, second trimester, way better than the first. So I'm good. All right, first animal we got here is Patsy LaRue, named after Hillary's grandma here. We're gonna let her handle this girl, <laughs> maybe. And before we get into all the updates on the snakes, I'd like to give a shout out to our channel sponsors, Freedom Breeder and Morph Market, giving us the full freedom of control over our content and still sponsoring our channel, being awesome. Check out the links down in the description. If you haven't installed the Morph Market app yet so that you know when any of snake that you might be looking for, any reptile or amphibian for that matter, might be uploaded to Morph Market. Just go check that in the description. Yeah, she's deep in the shed. And then Freedom Breeder, the day before yesterday, there was a really fun video we put up with Jerrica and Julie, Lindy's daughter and granddaughter. Their first time being on the channel, they were pretty nervous about it and really apprehensive about being on the channel. So I'd really appreciate if you went over to that last video that Freedom Breeder put out and give them some support in the comments on their video and just encourage them, let them know they're doing a good job because they did. As nervous as they were, they did a great job. I thought it was, I had fun doing the video. Go check it out, link in the description for that as well. And, boom. <laughs> My new scarf. <laughs> Just champing it. Well, it's mostly her. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of standing here. <laughs> Patsy LaRue, of course, the Phantom Sunfire Het Purple Albino. Not the Het Matters, because we're not going to breed her, but... 
Is she in shed or is that the color yes. of her eyes? She's definitely in shed. Wait, can I see? Hmm? I'll do some more squats. <laughs> Gigi, Gigi, Gigi. <laughs> She's stuck on your leg. <laughs> Snakes bring families closer together. <laughs> this is uh, Beatrice, our mochino. And yeah, looking and good. Where's Leia? Leia? Where is Leia? Ah! She's changing. Ah! Ah! Two hands, uh, two hands. Come on. Come on! This is very heavy. Snakes have a lot of skinny snake be so heavy. Well, they it eat rabbits. And big is it their bones that makes them heavy? Oh, that muscle in there. Ah! Here, Mom, I'm gonna ask you to move your feet. Thank you. Help us! Good! We got a serious problem. I'm a mammal. Halo, our lavender, Halo. tiger, motley. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Shush! Is Halo in the shed? Hey, Tia, are you gonna come help Snakey? Uh -oh. Is Halo older than you? Hey! Quick! I'll get the milk. Puffy jacket family today. Don't drop. Yes. <laughs> I know you've never bit anyone, but have you ever constricted anyone? Betsy Ross, purple albino, biggest snake here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I can barely lift up this part of her. I can, I can barely lift up. I can barely lift up one part of her. He said I'm not supposed to lift heavy things while pregnant. Man, one of the things about keeping giant snakes is they have giant poops, sometimes right in their giant water dishes. That was disgusting. I wanted to talk to you guys about the gospel as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. They keep really simplified in such a way, you know, Noah shared one of the verses in a video a few, few videos back, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. 
And to me, that kind of sums up the gospel in just one verse right there. It is such a simple concept, but it, it's something that can become so complicated in this world to understand or to grasp, depending on where you're at. Because I think it's obvious that Satan and demons run rampant in this world. And that's a reality. That's a fact. Some people may not recognize the spiritual battle that is happening and maybe dismiss it as human nature or whatever else it is, but it is a thing and it is a fact. And I just think it's interesting here in this in the snake keeping hobby in the reptile industry, we're such a slice of the entire world. You know, we got doctors and lawyers and criminals and teachers and just every, every little walk of life seems to be represented within the reptile industry and hobby. And it was really cool at the last Chicago show, getting to talk with a lot of different folks and pray with different folks. And it's really cool to see this this kind of blossoming in our hobby and this idea of, of the gospel and, and the fact that there is respite and there is rest and that God does offer salvation to everyone. And the gospel basically means good news. And that's the good news is that God has offered salvation through Jesus. And I was just am encouraged to share it with you guys by other folks that encouraged me here since I've been saved in the last year or so. I've developed quite a great relationship with people here in our local community, fellow believers, and, and I know that there's lots of folks out there that are struggling, that are going through depression or, or just having things, and that's something that is in our hobby, I think, more than others, even though we're such a slice of the entire world. Something about the nature of reptiles and snakes being shunned by the rest of society there are a lot of folks that keep that can relate to that idea. And it's just such a blessing that in this community, there is a lot of that, but the also a chance to be rescued from that depression and that, that anxiety and that fear of being shunned and, and being cast aside from society and being contrarian to the norm of people who think that snakes are the devil. And the snakes just got a bad rap because Satan decided to use a snake as his mode of uh, you know transportation there <laughs> but I just wanted to encourage you guys to reach out to somebody me if you'd like email address there I'm really easy to get a hold of on Instagram my, my phone numbers on Instagram you can call me text me if you want to get a hold of me and talk to me more about this I'd love to go through it with you if it's something you're processing if it's something that you want for yourself you want that peace that God offers you want that that community that can be found through the gospel. That's something I would like to help anybody that needs it along with. And I'd be more than willing to spend time talking through some of this stuff with, with anybody out there. So you know how to get a hold of me. The email's down there. Uh, phone number's on Instagram. Text me first because robocalls are a thing and I don't answer calls that I don't know because of that, unfortunately. But uh, if you text me first, I'll know it's you and we can have a great conversation. But uh, I appreciate you guys coming along with us for this journey and uh, thank you for all the love and support that I've gotten from so many people over the years and uh, I just want to I want to give that back where I can and this is the best way I know how so take care of yourselves take care of each other and we'll see you on the next video Aloha yeah. Jesus, as I do, I love Jesus, that's the truth. I love Jesus.